Mocon Aids, welcome to sunny London Dry Park, and as I'm sure we have Comrades, the speech I originally had prepared a couple of days ago was a scathing attack on this disgraceful government. It spoke of the endemic rottenness that permeates through condemned policies. For instance, there are attacks on disabled people through the work capability assessment, benefits caps, benefit sanctions, bedroom tax, and the ending of the independent living fund. And of course, the famous Lord Freud stating we're only worth two pounds an hour. Thanks, Lord Freud. But then I thought, wh wh why bother? What's the point in stating the obvious that the Tories are the nasty party? That the Lib Dems sold their principles for power? No, today's message has to be aimed at a future Labour government. Labour, drop your agenda for austerity. It hasn't worked so far for this mob. Stop the cuts in disabled people's benefits and services. Instead, introduce progressive policies. Bring in disability assessments that are transparent and fair. Assessments that address the needs of the people, not the balance sheet. If people cannot work due to this disability, don't harm them. Begin and end, end repeat assessments. For those who can't work, help them, sorry, for those who can work, help them into sustainable and meaningful employment. Prosecute employers who discriminate against disabled job seekers. Introduce an access into work scheme. Disabled job seekers have the same support needs as disabled workers. Make entry to access to work easier. Stop the decline in the access to our budget. Plow greater resources into access to work. Access to work is a money spinner for the Treasury. End the vicious sanctioning of benefits. Make the personal independence payment fit for purpose. Scrap the unrealistic 20 metre rule on PIP. Labour, bring back fairness into social care. Properly resource these services. Cease the social care postcode lottery. Make social care packages portable. Stop the closure of the independent living fund. And finally, Labour, put an end to government complicity in the demonisation and vilification of disabled people across the scum media and press. And finally, finally, comrades, when you leave here tonight, head towards Parliament Square, disabled people against the cuts, and I mean, a democracy camp there. Solidarity. Thank you for Sean McGovern, everyone. A very rousing speech from him, and now we have.